Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video, I am going to talk to you about a few easy ways that you can defend against man-in-the-middle attacks. Now, the biggest recommendation I have is just never to use free public Wi-Fi. I mean, even if you go into some place and you're like, okay, they have a nice long, you know, maybe a WPA passphrase, and their WPS pin is inactive, this looks like a pretty secure network. Even if you think it's a secure network, you still have no idea who is managing that router, that access point. It could be some dude and he can just be waiting there, waiting to claim your sensitive information. So if you use public Wi-Fi, then at least do not use it with your sensitive information, and I mean your bank account login, your email login, so on and so forth. Now for those of you who need to use public Wi-Fi, there's just no way around it, maybe you do for your job, then these are a couple of things to look out for. First of all, whenever you go to a sensitive page, such as a login page, you need to make sure that it has a valid HTTPS certificate. Now on the website that we made in the last video, you saw that whenever we went to www.bacon.com, it wasn't the real bacon.com, so we're never going to see one of those nice green certificates and I'll show you guys what they look like. So this is the Bank of America webpage right here and this is from my phone and this is from the tablet. So any big company and not even a big company but any decent sized company their website is gonna have this green validation or certificate on their website and this is basically saying this website is who we say they are that's why these certificates were made up now I wanna say not every website because maybe your friend has a forum and I don't know maybe someone's working on like a tiny little website those login pages may not have it but all of your big websites Facebook your banks your Google's your emails keep an eye out for these and if you don't see one do not go to it now another important thing you can do especially on your home network is lock out any unauthorized users and you do so by using the techniques that we learned before make sure you have a really strong passphrase make sure that you disable WPS and as you continue watching this series you're gonna learn about more vulnerabilities and how you can fix them and that is because for some reason a lot of people believe that whenever they have a phone or whatever and they're talking to an access point that there's just some kind of direct communication between the two but they don't realize whenever you're using Wi-Fi like I said before it's almost the exact equivalent of shouting your information out to anyone that'll listen so make sure anyone you don't trust anyone but your friends and your family they can't even access your network if they tried I mean as a general rule of thumb look at this guy do you trust this guy I don't I mean you have to think would you trust him with your 13 year old daughter? No, you wouldn't. So why would you trust him with your Wi-Fi network, which is even more important? Because you know that this guy is just gonna be like, oh, I'm an old guy. I just wanna get on my iPhone and check my doctor's appointment. <clears throat> Sorry, Haas, no free Wi-Fi for you. And as we continue this series, I'm gonna be explaining, like I said, a bunch of different things that you can do to protect yourself and your network against man in the middle attacks such as DNS spoofing and it's different for if it's your network or you're just on the network so for network administrators there are intrusion detection software that you can use and for individuals like I said we're gonna be going over all of these techniques but for now uh, thank you guys for watching just want to give you guys some real quick ideas so there you go see you next time